Hi everyone, I'm Jackie from the Auburn Area Branch Library. Today I'm thinking about flowers because it's spring and spring makes me think about flowers. Now, I'm not so good at growing flowers, so I'm going to make some instead. With just a few simple household items that you have around your house, paper roses are incredibly easy to make. I'll show you how. Let's get started. So what you'll need for this craft is a pair of scissors, a simple household glue, I'm using a glue stick, a pencil, a paintbrush, or a skewer or something that's very skinny cylinder, a chopstick will work just for rolling. Uh, I used a paper cutter. If you don't have a paper cutter, you're just going to cut your own with your scissors. Paper. I just use various colored copy paper. If you would like sheet music, you can print off free sheet music, front and back. Book pages. And a glue gun for the very end when we glue everything together. I'm going to show you how to do a flower with pages from a book. First of all, if you decide to use a book, please make sure it's your book and it's not a library book. Then when you decide which book you want to sacrifice in the name of art, pull out four pages of that book. Trim the binding edge of that book, of those pages. And I like to trim off the bottom where there's blank space because I don't necessarily need that in my flower. Now we're going to make four squares. Do this by pulling up the bottom right corner to the edge of the page. Fold it. Using this edge as your guide, cut right along there. And you'll get rid of this excess. And we're going to do that with the other three pages as well. Now I have my four squares, starting with the first one. We will fold it in half, corner to corner, one time. You're going to take this right corner, fold it to the left corner for the second fold. Now you're going to take the top corner and fold it to the left corner for the third fold. We're folding it three times. Now, with the edge that has only one fold to the right side, here's where you're going to make your petal for your flower. I have made myself a template in the shape of a petal. Kind of looks like a mini ice cream cone. I'm going to put that point down in this corner and trace. Now I'm going to cut the edge where I traced. Get rid of that excess. And I'm going to cut off the pointy corner, just a little bit. Then when I open it up, it's going to look like a flower. Okay, that's what you want. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other three squares. Now, I have four 
flower shapes. With my first flower shape, I'm going to cut off, as you can see there's eight petals on here. I'm going to cut off one petal. And then on my next flower shape, I'm going to cut off two petals. And on my third one, I bet you can see where this is going, I'm going to cut off three petals. And on the fourth one, I'm going to cut that right in half. I only need one of these halves, the other one will set aside. Now, we're going to start putting these together. Just using a simple glue stick, I'm going to glue one of the petals that's on the end. I'm going to take the other petal that's on the end, overlap it, and just kind of press it together until it makes a cone shape like this. That's going to be our outermost layer of our rose. Now I'm going to go to my six petal flower, put some glue on that petal on the edge, overlap it with the other petal on the edge, and I've made the next layer. And I'm just going to keep doing this. I get them all done. Now when you get down to the two petal flower, you're going to put just a little bit of glue on the one edge and this is where you use your paintbrush handle, your skewer, whatever you have and we're going to roll that a little bit loosely. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more glue to it. That's okay. Get a little pinch there at the end. And then with the final one, a little bit of glue on the one edge. We're going to roll it the same way we did the two petal flower. Just a little bit tighter. This is going to be the innermost layer of the rose. Okay. And there it is. Now we have all of our layers glued together. Now at this point, this is where you have to decide whether you would like for your flowers to look more like a lotus which is this style, or you would like it to look more like a rose, which is this style. If you want it to look more like a lotus, we won't roll back the edges of the petals and just glue it all together. If you do want it to look more like a rose, we need to roll back the edges of all of these petals and then we'll hot glue it together. So, to show you how to make it look like a rose, we're going to roll back all of the edges. And this is where I use my paintbrush handle again, just to lightly roll back each one of the petals on every layer. to 
the two innermost layers of the rows, we're not going to roll those back. We're going to leave them as is. Now is the fun part. Putting it all together with the hot glue. This is when it really starts to come together. So this is when you get out your hot glue gun. And start putting it all together. I'm going to put a little hot glue on the outside of the petal that you're going to insert into the biggest one here, putting them in order. Try to stagger the petals a little bit if you can to give it more of a natural look. And this is where your pencil will come in handy so you can push it down, glue it together, and not burn your fingers on the hot. And sometimes the two innermost layers are a little bit longer than you want them to be, and you might have to trim them off. In this case, they're fine. There you go. There it is. A paper rose. Simple as that. Now, if you want to do smaller roses, for this size rose, I used two and a half inch squares of paper. For this size rows, if you're using colored paper, I used four and a quarter inch squares of paper. And remember, you'll need four squares for each rows. Now you may wonder what you can do with these flowers. These can be used as part of another craft. In fact, I already have an idea for another craft that we're going to make where we'll use these little beauties. So in anticipation of that craft, I hope that you'll grow your rose garden. And if you do, I hope that you post them in the comments. I'd love to see what you're making. In the meanwhile, know that we're thinking about you. Stay safe and be healthy.